How's it going, everyone? My name is Joe Cox, and thank you for tuning in to Joe C. Talks Photo. First and foremost, do you have a new plan for the video? Second, this is going to be an unscripted video. And third, this is going to cover my own personal workflows, so there will be some things included, some things excluded. But today's video, we are working in Adobe Lightroom Classic, specifically the library module. And we're going to be importing our very first photos into Adobe Lightroom via hard drive. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Since this is our first video, first thing I want to start with is up top left. You'll notice we are in Adobe Lightroom Classic, which is our desktop version of Lightroom. Second, you will notice we are in the library module up here, kind of towards the middle of the screen. And finally, and where we're going to start off today, you'll notice Adobe wants us to click the import button to begin. You'll find that import button in the bottom left of the screen, and when we click on that, you'll notice it opens up an import window. So I do want to cover this real quick and I am going to close down this a little bit. So this is probably where your screen or very similar to where your screen is starting at the moment. So over on the left, you do have select a source, which currently, because I don't have any backup hard drives or any memory cards plugged in, the only source that Lightroom is able to pull from in this case is going to be my Macintosh HD or my MacBook's hard drive. Moving towards the center of the screen where it says select a source, that is actually going to be a preview window, which we'll see in just a second. But up at the top, you have a few different options. You have copy as DNG, copy, move, and add. You'll see that we're currently on add, and that is personally my preference when I'm importing via hard drive. The reason why is I don't want Lightroom to move or duplicate any of my files. If I imported my photos into my hard drive, I usually have them organized right off the bat to their specific location and where I'd like them. So in that sense, that is why I use add. Moving over to the right side of the screen, we do have our destination. So in this case, it is going to be going into to my catalog. And quick note, you do also have some options down here. So this file handling, you do have some options to uh, adjust the files or even, yeah, there again, you can set previews, suspected duplicates, add to a uh, collection, make a second copy. So you do have some options there. And then with apply during import, you can apply a preset, you can change up your metadata or even apply a few keywords. And there again, that'll just be like filter selection stuff later on down the road for the most part. Hey, you. Yes, you. Quick announcement for the video. Did you know I make merch like coffee cups so you can always be sipping your favorite drink? Hoodies, so you can always be looking stylish, or even wall art to make sure that any room you're in feels like home. And there's so much more, and the best part is it's always getting added to. So not only do your contributions help improve this channel and further educate more people, but also the portion of those proceeds go to supporting the Semper Fi in America's fund. So what are you waiting for? Go check out the link below and make sure you get after some of that cool merch. But I love you, you're beautiful people, and always remember that. Now, let's get back to the video. One thing I do want to mention is if you were to go over to copy, or copy as DNG, or even move, you'll notice we get the file renaming over here on the right, as well as a destination. So there again, because we are now either creating new files or moving files to new destinations, Lightroom is going to ask us for the file renaming and the destination, more specifically the destination file renaming is optional. But to move into today's video fully, we are going to be importing our first photo via hard drive. So we want to go under select a source. We're going to go to my MacBook's hard drive. My files that I want today are under users, Joe C. Cox, desktop, and it's going to be this Lightroom sample folder. And when I click on it, you'll notice we get some photo previews. So first and foremost, you will notice up in the top left, each of the photos is checked, which means right now, if we went and clicked import, we would get all three of those photos. Say there is a photo we didn't want, we could just go up and click on that little check mark. Additionally, you do have some ways of checking all or unchecking all. So the first method is up in this top left with all photos. You can check or uncheck that, and you'll notice it makes our selection for us. And then you also have this check all or uncheck all down here. Additionally, you'll notice you do have these little view previews. So you have a grid view, or you do have a loop view. When we're selected under grid view, we do have a thumbnail slider, so we can add more photos to the screen or less photos to the screen. 
And when we're, excuse me, when we're in loop view, you'll notice that thumbnail slider changes to a zoom slider. So you do have some different options there as well. Additionally, under grid, you will notice that you do have a way to sort the files if you would like. But with our three photos selected up here, now we are going to go into the bottom right and just go, and actually, real quick, we are on move. I want to be an add, but I do have our three files selected, and now we're going to go into the bottom right and click import. Give it just a second, and now we have one, two, three photos into Adobe Lightroom today. So that's going to cover up the video, super simple, super brief, um, but we did get to see how to import via hard drive. And we covered that import uh, window that always opens up whenever you're importing something. So extremely nice. I hope you learned something new there. Again, pretty simple lesson today, but don't forget to subscribe. I'd hate for you to miss out on the information and knowledge moving forward. But thanks for tuning in and I will check you next time. Bye.